the one, the only, Ben Good evening and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube and Metzion. Tonight we're doing Masechah Pesach and Paragimel, Mishnah Zavav and Zion. I want to talk about Mishnah Zion over here. It says, Ahol Lichlishkot es Pischa Olamos Beno Lechol Sos Eres and Beis Chama. If you're doing a mitzvah, well, that's the first two years of Del Reis. I don't know exactly what mitzvah it is to eat the meal of Eres and when you're engaged, getting engaged on Erev Pesach. Talk about that. Um, <laughs> mitzvah Karim Pesach and Bris Mila, these are pretty severe mitzvahs. So you don't do them, you get Karis. Right, and he remember he has chametz besok base. If you have a lachs or a levar lachs or mitzvah, so if you can do both, you can go back, flush it down the toilet, or burn the chametz, and then go back and do the bris mila or do the karm pesach yachs or yavar. Go do that. If you don't have time to do both, so then you can rely on bittel. Bittel emerges many times from sechup sechup and bittel ba'al masagi. There's a mitzvah of beer chametz. You have to get of your chametz, right? I mean, make a bracha before we start b'dikas chametz, right? I'll be your chametz, right? And the, the post can say it's going on the end when tomorrow on Yodalid, you're going to burn the chametz. So that's the beer or machmer like Rabbi Huda, you should do it with Sreifa, with burning it. So you're starting that, that beer by doing with the chametz. <clears throat> now the question arises over here is that Osik admits a pater admits, as the Gwarang and Sukkah says, and Mzakas Brachos. If you're in the middle of a mitzvah, you're exempt from a mitzvah. So here, I already started on my way to do in Karban Pesach. I journeyed to Karban Pesach, or to go to Bris Mila to my, to my son. So, you're also going to miss a pater in a mitzvah. Why are, even if you have time to go back and do both, you should be pater from them. Generally, also going to miss a pater in a mitzvah. So, one explanation. There's two explanations of also going to miss a pater in a mitzvah. One explanation of also going to miss a pater in a mitzvah means you're only pater when you can't do both. If you can do both, do both. Right, which would seemingly may be perfect with this mission. I believe that's what the Ron says in Masech HaSukkah. If you have time to do both, do both. That's what the mission says. If you have time to do both, the mitzvah, the mitzvah of Bir Chametz and the mitzvah of Mila, so do both. If not, so then you can rely on Bittal, right? You can rely on Bittal over here because Bittal, when you make your Chametz Hefker, ownerless, so it's basically the same thing. You accomplish Bir Chametz, Midal Reis. I mean, the Rabbanan is still a Chiyav Dika. The Rabbanan said, if you don't have time, so you will waive. You don't have to do bedikas chametz over here, but according to the other explanation, it's a machlokas in the post. Give all the mitzvah about the mitzvah. You're potter, you're exempt from the mitzvah. There's no other mitzvah. It's not that I I can't do it, so therefore I'm exempt. But if I could do both, I could I should do both. No. Once you're in the middle of a mitzvah, and this is the correct explanation I prefer, is that there's no other mitzvah involved, right? You can't focus on two different things at the time. Once you're doing a mitzvah, you're doing a mitzvah. Forget about everything else. So why over here, if you have time to do both, you have to go back. So it gets into really the discussion of what the mitzvah of Bir Chama, you say a bracha, I'll Bir Chama. It's mitzvah, seemingly the rice of Bir Chama. It's machlok, we had early in the Masech. The Rehuda says it has to be strife. Whether I want to say, we pass on the Rabbana. It could be even technically, Mephar, Vizor, Laruach, you just crumble it up, throw it into the wind, or throw it into the sea. Technically, that's that's okay, All right? So that's the mitzvah's essay. So... Why why do we not rely on Bittal Baal Masagi over here if you hold that your pots are on mitzvah? So <clears throat> I'd like to say that the mitzvah of Bir Chametz is not just a regular mitzvah's essay. Where where do we find the Torah that says you have to mavar your chametz? It doesn't say in there you have to your chametz. There's no mit- There's an Israel in the Torah, Baal Yerah, Baal Yerah, you're not supposed to have in your possession chametz on Pesach, right? Two, two lav in the Torah, Baal Yerah and Baal Yerah, if you own chametz or you see chametz that you own, so you violate Potentially two lav him in the Torah. So that's a lav. That's not an essay. Osik mitzvah, a pater mitzvah. If you're involved in one mitzvah's essay, you're exempt from another mitzvah's essay. However, if one of them is a lav, and over here I believe the mitzvah of Bir Chametz is not a mitzvah's essay. The mitzvah of Bir Chametz, once Yud Gimel Nisan, once Yud Dalit begins, right? Or the Avbasar, right? There's a mitzvah of Dikas Chametz. The mitzvah of Bir Chametz started, meaning, right? Obviously, once your Chatzos happens, on, on your Dalid, you're going to be violated Bali Rav Bali Matzai, technically, according to, to, to most Rishonim. You're violated Bali Rav Bali Matzai, already chatzot on your Dalid if you have comments in your possession. So, when do you have to get rid of it? Obviously, you can't have it in your possession, so the Torah will command you to get rid of it. When did the Torah start commanding you to get rid of it? That's the first mission of the Masech, the other Abbas, or Boshman, and the are in there. That's the Rabbanan said, that's the best way of doing it. First, you do Bidika's comments, then you burn it, or then you throw it in the sea, whatever you found. That's the recommended way to do it. Bidika's chametz is really Dal right? If he did bitol, so Bidika becomes their opponent. 
But technically, you're supposed to search after your chametz and get rid of it. Midal raisa, but the mitzvah of bir chametz, which is to prevent bal yirah, bal yimotzei, right? It's a mitzvah lo say. You have to do something. Loza, it's a, usually mitzvah lo say or lavs lo say jeish bal maisa. You're doing something wrong, right? When you're destroying your beard, right? You're shaped with a razor. You're destroying your beard. That's a lo say lavs jeish bal maisa. But lavs shemel maisa, bal yirah bal yimotzei. It's lavs shemel maisa. I have to do something to avoid. I, ha- I have chametz the whole year. I have to get rid of it. When do I have to start carrying it? That's the first Mishnah. Once you dial and Nisan hits, even at night, you have to get rid of your chametz over. You have a mitzvah of beer chametz, middle right? But that's not a mitzvah's essay. It's a mitzvah, losa say, bali ra, bali mate. The Torah, part of the mitzvah, bali ra, bali mate, is to make sure you don't have chametz when the time comes that you'll be held responsible for bali ra, bali mate. And that already begins. Beer chametz, which is makes a thought, which is part of a lav, already exists already on the night of Yudal and Nisan until. Chatzos when it becomes usher. So therefore, since it's not just an essay and a lo, it's not just an, two essays, it's an essay and a losa say bali ra bali matze. So therefore, if you ha, if you don't have time, right? Therefore, um, technically, we don't say osig mitzvah patrim in a mitzvah. And if you have time, you should go back. If you don't have time, chazal or make and they said you can rely on bittel. But the preferred way of getting rid of uh, preventing the losa say bali ra bali matze. Is to do beer chametz, and therefore, if you have time, you should go back and do that also because it's not an essay, it's a los essay. And therefore, we don't say, Oh, it's a mitzvah, a potter, and a mitzvah. I hope you enjoyed tonight's share. See you in the next one.